Hello, this is Samsa again, and um, yeah, today I figured I would ramble a little bit because VidMe has apparently decided to go a little bit belly up. And uh, if you've been following this channel for a little while, you may have uh, noticed that I have talked about VidMe, I have talked about YouTube, and I have been uploading stuff on both of them. I've I initially spent quite a bit of time getting these two to you know sort of sync up because you know when you when you move to a new video platform which, which you haven't used for a while well at all before obviously that means you have to maybe migrate quite a bit of your old content over so that meant I had to upload quite a bit of stuff to with me so that I could like carry all of my playthroughs over there because to be honest I haven't been all that happy with YouTube re uh, well, recently the, I have been somewhat unhappy with YouTube for years now um, and I would I, first of all I would like to make it very clear that I'm not talking about like financial stuff for myself because I haven't made a penny or any kind of an other very very small unit of currency from YouTube uh, because I have never I have never like monetized my stuff on YouTube and I don't really plan to particularly now you know considering what the situation of YouTube really is but I'm like I, the, the point is I haven't been worried about my own financial stuff on YouTube but it sort of has annoyed me quite a bit to see YouTube, you know, YouTube has this monopoly on the, like online video pretty much. Unless you count Netflix, of course, but that's like super specific stuff. You wouldn't see Let's Plays on Netflix. But YouTube basically has the monopoly on online video content. Because if you're a video con- like, if you're a content creator making stuff available sort of for free on the internet, you probably want to be on YouTube because it has the biggest following everyone else is using YouTube it's sort of like a self-feeding problem where everyone is on YouTube everyone watches stuff on YouTube everyone makes stuff on YouTube because everyone watches stuff on YouTube and everyone makes stuff on YouTube and um, as we have seen time and time again Google doesn't know shit basically it seems that like usually usually what happens when you know, some sort of product gets the monopoly. What ends up happening is that they stagnate. For example, uh, Windows, um, uh, Internet Explorer, that's a fantastic example of a product that reached monopoly status because it was bundled with every single Windows, which meant that everyone used that. And because everyone already used it, there was no reason to compete, so it stagnated and eventually it became the horrible mess that it was and eventually even Microsoft just completely disowned it. Usually that's what happens when a product or a service gets the monopoly. They sort of stagnate, the pricing gets weird and stuff like that happens. But with YouTube what ended up happening was they got the monopoly status and I guess they made it the sandbox for bad ideas at Google because it seems that like Time and time again, the designers, the developers, and basically everyone else that has been managing YouTube have just made mistake after mistake after mistake. And it's quite fantastic, in a way. It's also super sad, because, you know, this is the video platform that dominates this era, and it just keeps making a mistake after a mistake after a mistake. I mean, the whole ap apocalypse stuff, the rogue, <laughs> rogue demonetization bot, by the way, which I haven't been hit by because I don't make money from YouTube. But you know, I I I sympathize with the you know content creators that I watch myself, and most of those guys are actually like they they do this for a job. They make money from this, so it kind of super annoys me to see that these guys that I'm watching they are not getting anything. Well, if they are getting anything from me, it's very little. I don't block ads these days. Uh, I've accepted at this point that like ads are very much, you know, ads suck, sure, um, but they they are quite necessary for a free internet where you know stuff gets posted for free without paywalls. 
That has changed a little bit, you know, with the whole Patreon stuff. And there is also, like, a concrete example is this website that I write for sometimes called GamingOnLinux.com. Those guys over there, or rather we guys, because I'm part of the editorial team, I don't make money from there either, so, you know, just just, just be clear about this. Um, but, like, that website used to run almost exclusively on ads. It did have, like, a PayPal donation system and stuff like that, a couple of donation systems. But, like, it was in, I think, the last year and a half, maybe two years, I don't remember exactly, that stuff started to roll into, like, Patreon. We started moving towards Patreon because, you know, people block ads. Quite a few people block ads. And not to mention, ads pay garbage these days. Because there are so many places where, you know, AdSense can place ads. And it seems that, like, gener like most of the, these ads, that, they are just garbage. No, not, like, those ads won't turn viewers into paying customers of anything. Because it seems like the ad industry has also kind of lost it. Um, so basically, you know, you get a whole lot less per ad anyway. And, you know, with people sometimes blocking ads and stuff like that. The ad revenue for that website, even though it was, you know, gathering decent traffic, and it still is, it made pretty crappy amounts of money. However, when they, when, you know, Geo switched over to Patreon, it started paying a lot more so and and we've I think at this point everyone who watches stuff actively on YouTube has probably seen their favorite content creators starting patreons because you know honestly patreon pays more stably than you know ads not to mention that now <laughs> you know there's a rogue demonetization bot running around on you know YouTube making everyone's lives horrible, except for us who just make content for free. I, I think I'm emphasizing this a little bit too much at this point. Anyway, the original point of the video was that I would sort of ramble about the current state of, you know, online video a little bit, because unless the situation is pretty bad. Um, like I said, YouTube has monopoly and YouTube is mismanaged so horrendously. It's It's... It's sad and impressive in a in a way at the same time, and it's that alone is quite quite something. Um, and you know, because of that, I initially started using Vidme because Vidme was like this new video platform that was intended to you know compete with YouTube to an extent. Of course, you know them being small small time company, and you know YouTube being Google. Of course, the fight wasn't exactly fair, but now I've, like, today I heard that Vidme was going to shut down. I think they are going to, like, content is going to be online until, like, December 15th or something like that. So it's just going to be, like, a couple of weeks of, you know, running down the place. You cannot really, I don't think you can even register new accounts at this point. You cannot upload new stuff. So even this video is going to only make it to YouTube right now because I cannot upload to Vidme anymore. Technically I could like download stuff from Vidme, but everything has been already uploaded to YouTube as well, so I don't really care. Um, but it, it, is a, it is a bit of a sad thing. Because, you know, the, the whole monopoly of YouTube has to be broken at some point. Because it's, it's clear that YouTube doesn't, you know, doesn't exactly... Uh, support the interests of the content creators. It doesn't support the interest of the viewer, like the viewer base, because I, like Google basically treats both as a product rather than a customer. The actual customer are the ad agencies, and um, yeah, those ad agencies seem to be, you know, kind of leaving right now. You know, that has that's basically the reason why the whole adpocalypse stuff started because. You know, ad agency sees a bad video associated with their ad, ad agency pulls ads, Google sends in the intern to create some sort of an, some sort of an AI that is supposed to demonetize stuff that is not advertiser friendly, and of course the 
AI immediately declares that everything it finds is advertiser unfriendly and because YouTube doesn't know how to run their website, they instantly put that into production mode rather than a testing mode. So yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a mess. And uh, sadly because of Vidme now being gone, that's one less uh, video sharing site that is just, you know, not in the race anymore. There are still some video sharing sites every like here and there. Many of them are fairly crappy, like Daily Motion, for example. I used that at some point. Uh, I tried to sort of make that a sort of a YouTube alternative for my content um, previously when I was running my previous channel, and uh, it's just garbage. The video uploading stuff was very limited. If you upload too many videos per day which is kind of what you're, you know, aiming to do when you are making, you know, when you're, when you're switching or moving your stuff to a new, you know, streaming site, then what you want to do is you probably want to upload a whole bunch of old videos there so that there's some semblance of, you know, sync between the channels. And they won't do that. I mean, if you don't, if you upload too many things within 24 hours, it's just going to give you a 24 hour ban or something silly like that. And the video player there is just garbage in general. Might have even used Flash recently, and that's just something you should never do. Um, and then there are, of course, uh, some other sites like Vimeo, but Vimeo, honestly, at this point doesn't really matter, at least for someone who makes, you know, content about uh, video games, because Vimeo has a very, very strict uh, set of rules about what you can post there, and it's basically just hipster paradise. It's for, like, artsy stuff, rather than... You know, they allow video game content as long as you are the creator of the video game. I suppose it makes sense because they want to protect themselves against any kind of copyright issues and, you know, video games are still a grey area. But... It's it's a little bit annoying. So I've been, I've been sort of now, because Vidme is going down, I've been on the lookout for new uh, video sharing sites. And at this point, it's 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 getting a little bit dire. There are some projects that I'm sort of following right now. There's a site called BitChute, which is like, it's trying to do video sharing through torrenting, which itself might sound pretty bad, but they do not allow like Hollywood movies and stuff like that on the website. So it's not like immediate piracy. The idea is that instead of having this massive data like um, a server farm or something like that to host all their stuff. Instead of that, they would sort of um, decentralize the sharing of the video through web torrent, which is basically just it's it's torrent running on your web browser. There's another project doing a fairly similar thing called PeerTube. It's 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 basically the same thing, but it's aiming to do some sort of federation and. I've been sort of interested in these kinds of federated, decentralized um, social medias. I, I recently started using Mastodon, for example, which is basically what it a lot, what it does is you have many of these servers called instances. You sign up on one of them, and it federates with the other instances. So if you post stuff on your instance, people on that instance see it, and also the people in the next instance over. Uh, can see your messages through federation and people can follow each other like across instances and stuff like that. That's it's pretty cool. Uh, one of the annoying things is that the instances sometimes seem to go down and I've had to move from one instance to another uh, twice already because the instances just went down for no apparent reason and I couldn't get access to my account anymore. So that's that's a bit of a problem. But at this point I feel like the decentralization stuff that's that's like how it's going to have to go for like video from now on because honestly Vidme showed that some like smaller company could technically pull off making a video sharing website that was fairly decent but it seems that they didn't make enough money to actually be able to host that stuff because video hosting very 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 expensive there's a whole lot of bytes going to and from uh, the website and it's it's kind of difficult to manage all of that plus there's just you need to store incredible amounts of data 
to you know keep up with all of the uploads and things like that so also that so what these other websites they the bit shoot and PeerTube that I'm talking about PeerTube hasn't even like it's still work in progress it hasn't even like entered proper production and it's it's not running on like actually uh, publicly available servers that allow you to post content they have some test servers but that's about it but the idea is that instead of them centralized like essentially managing all the content they sort of split it up between like multiple people decentralize it it's it's an interesting idea um my only concern is that it, it becomes pirate have uh, like pirate heaven and stuff like that and i don't necessarily want my content right next to that because it then kind of devalues my stuff if i if i'm posting on like shady websites and stuff like that um but yeah, I think that's how it's going to have to go from now because I don't think anyone can really catch up to Google at this point. And uh, it's basically just a matter of time before YouTube collapses and then everyone is going to have to do some sort of an exodus. Um, some people are already moving to Twitch, which is interesting. Twitch doesn't really have the... Like sure, it has VODs and VODcasts and things like that. But the, like, uploading content, like pre-recorded pre content. Uploading that to Twitch is a little bit weird. I don't think they have a proper subscription system and the website is mainly geared towards live streams and th things like that. So it isn't necessarily all that well optimized. But some people are moving over to Twitch and it, like I've already seen a bit of a surge in content that is basically people stream their stuff onto Twitch. Like, they, they play something live on Twitch, and then they take the VOD from Twitch and then upload that to their, their main channel. And that's basically, like, YouTube gets served the same content that was already, uh, like, uploaded to Twitch. And it, it, it's usually a live stream format, and then they upload the, the live stream VOD. And I've, I've been doing that myself here, uh, mainly because, like, for me, it's not a case of, you know... I make money from my content and that's why I want to be on Twitch because Twitch pays better than YouTube. No, it's because I have been kind of lazy to set up uh, actual rec like recording sessions. So I have rather been because I play some games every week on my uh, well on our Twitch channel on Gaming on Linux's Twitch channel. So it's been easy for me to just convert that stuff over into a playthrough, and that way I can like I can basically take care of two things at the same time. I get to stream on Twitch and I get to upload some stuff over here and that's why the things like Soma and um, Bioshock, why those are like live stream bots that I have been uploading over here. And I'm probably going to keep doing that. It's sort of like the, the content doesn't necessarily work that well as a VOD, but I feel like otherwise I'm not going to be uploading nearly as much stuff over here and I'm already pretty damn lazy. But yeah, it's 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 an interesting interesting thing, and it's a bit of a an annoying thing as well, you know, with me being gone and YouTube being a mess that it is. Um, but yeah, it's 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 not really anything we can really do much about. So I guess we're going to just have to see what happens with like these various kinds of alternative sites. If I end up making another channel on some other place, I'm probably going to announce it here as well, in case people are interested, but it's probably going to have to wait until I start new projects. Because honestly, at this point, we're going to start, we're, we're sort of reaching a point where I have like, at this point, well over a hundred videos, like hundreds of videos on this channel already. And uploading all of those over to the other website, it's going to just take too long. So at this point, like, migrating f completely from YouTube to another site is basically out of the question because I, I'd have to download so many videos onto my machine again and then upload those over to that other website. So a total migration is not really viable anymore. With Widme, I was able to pull it off because there back then there were fairly, fairly few videos. It was sort of, on, like, 
I still had to do it over multiple days and it was still annoying, it was very very annoying. But at this point I just don't care enough and it, there are just too many videos, so complete migration over from YouTube is definitely not really any kind of an option. But when, when I start new, you know, re new series, new stuff, I might start, you know, if, if there is a viable alternative. I'm currently looking at BitChute, but I'm, I still don't quite understand the technology. And I still have to sort of figure out how good it actually is before I start posting my stuff over there. But I'm currently looking into that, and if I happen to make another one of these alternate, like, uh, well, alternate channels on some other websites, I will announce it here so that people can, you know, go and follow me over there if they want to sort of de Google fi themselves, because that seems to be a popular move these days. And I can totally understand why, because Google is not really a good company. But yeah, that's that's basically my rambly thoughts for um, about this whole YouTube with me monetization, decentralization thing. As for other stuff, still doing well in school. School still taking so much time. I'm a bit lazy about this. I'm I'm going to try and sort of dedicate some parts of my like um, like my weekends and stuff like that for like actually recording, editing, and stuff like that. Um, and I have a couple of days, like, during the week, where I don't have much stuff that I'm actually doing, like, my, my, uh, Fridays and my Wednesdays are pretty damn empty right now. Friday, well, Wednesdays I'm probably going to have to focus on, like, homework, which is annoying. Um, but, like, I might be able to do some more stuff on, like, Fridays and Saturdays, and I, I might make those sort of, like, recording days when I do some stuff and uh, you know record some new sessions of stuff and uh, you know edit some videos together and then just try and release at least a couple of videos a day uh, well not a day but a week because right now it, it's I, I like I upload a couple of videos like I have this sort of a productive week when I might even like record stuff and then I upload a couple of videos and then it's like a week of complete darkness <laughs> And it's I'm I'm sorry about that. It's it's kind of my fault. I'm being lazy. It's not even that I don't have the time. I just have this illusion of not having time, and it just ends up being, you know, me being super lazy. By the way, if you're interested in the gameplay that is on the background, that's Day of Infamy. It's a it's a decent game. It's a little bit a uh, little bit death heavy, as you might have noticed, but it's it's a fun game that I sometimes play. It's easy to just start up and play a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to wrap things up here. It's It's been a bit of a rambly video. I didn't write any kind of a script for this. I just wanted to get some thoughts out because I felt inspired. And um, yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this despite its rambly nature. And um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try and, you know, upload more stuff. Of course, now that Vidme is just dead, that's kind of not, you know, happening uh, over there. But uh, this channel is going to keep going, and if I find you know, some ad uh, some alternatives to YouTube, then you know, going to post stuff over there as well. If you have any recommendations for those kinds of websites, of course they do need to be like fairly clean stuff, nothing super illegal e, and no pirates and stuff like that. Um, but if you if you happen to know of good YouTube alternatives, I am definitely I do accept any kind of feedback on that area. Um, and, uh, yeah, more stuff eventually. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in future videos.